Assalamu alaikum, I am Asad Yusuf. And today's topic uh, in MPT channel is radiobiological effectiveness of the dose. So uh, introduction, um, physics of radiobiology is uh, ionization of atom, possibly direct or breakage of one or both DNS10. Chemistry, creation of free radical and other chemical changes, the biology, damage to DNA and other intracellular, possibly extracellular target, cell death, tumor control, and organ damage. So dose effectiveness depends on fractionated scheme, the interfraction interval, dose per fraction, inherent sensitizing effect of tumor and normal tissue, radiation sensitizing effects, concomitant disease like diabetes, concomitant chemotherapy, genetic differences, degree of oxygenation, dose distribution. So uh, there are several factors affecting the outcome of radiation therapy, overall treatment time, dose, dose fractionation, dose volume effect. In this presentation, I'll cover overall treatment time. The ideal treat all ideal is to treat all the patient without interruption. If the patient missed any treatment in week, compensate it with the treatment on Saturday or BID on Friday, six hour between the therapy. If the multiple treatment missed and use BID calculation to drive an alternate schedule, in some cases, extra fraction will be incorporated. The causes of interruption would be public holiday, machine breakdown, patient sickness, machine service time, financial issues, patient unwillingness, and other factors uh, depending on what clinical situation and what environment you are working with. And also the radiotherapy reaction. Five tumor usually more affected by the prolongation of time, head and neck cancer, cervix, lung, esophagus, medullary blastoma. So management uh, are numerous, numerous number of papers are available. The books are published. This is one of the book uh, picture uh, in which the management was given. The methods are given, their benefits, and the potential difficulties may arise if you use those methods. So it's good to review this uh, and the reference will be given in the last uh, slide of this presentation. So management of unscheduled gap. First, you have to determine what caused this uh, gap and uh, how many treatments are remaining, the treatment time is remaining. Then find the solution accordingly. Treatment on the weekends, if possible, or twice a daily, um, if possible, PED calculation is not necessary. So we're going to work on an example. A 70 gray should be delivered in 35 fraction over 46 days. So uh, for example, uh, if the patient lost the third week, so the five fractions are missed on third week, the treatment, that can be compensated with the help of uh, treating patient on Saturdays. Uh, the later scheme will incorporate six days a six days a week, and uh, other option would be the BED on every Friday. Loss of the sixth week. Uh, the option would be the twice daily fraction in each weekdays of the final week. A better solution, if feasible, would be also make use of weekend before the final week of the treatment, thus providing seven days within which 10 fractions have to be delivered. Bi daily fractionation could be used on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, single fraction on other four days. Advantage of the later scheme is that it reduces the likelihood of creating excess biological damage if there is incomplete repair between the fractions. And uh, you can create uh, this kind of chart on Excel or any other software so that uh, you can easily monitor what a, uh, the week was missed and then how what administration was done to fill up the gaps.
The last example, uh, the second last example is loss of all the seven week the treatment. So there is no way that you can cover up with treating on Saturday or BED. So the BED uh, calculation has to be done. So if we talk about the original BED of the normal tissue is 116.7 grade. And the formula, I believe you, you all know about it. The tumor of the BED would be 67.8. And uh, the time factor is incorporated. The 46 is the original day, and this is a, a recommended value of T delay, 28 days. And this is a factor, K factor. On completion, the overall treatment is time is seven days longer than scheduled. If the daily BED equivalent to tumor repopulation of 0.9 gray, the tumor BED will be lower than intended by an amount of 6.3 gray. The late normal BED will be as prescribed. So we assume the option of treating additionally over the weekend is to be adopted. That is the overall treatment time then is 51 days. So the tumor BED is to be maintained. Therefore, for full schedule pre-gap plus post-gap would be 67.8. The solution for D in above equation, if you solve this equation, you will find the D and it will be 2.62 gray, which will restore the tumor BED. For the normal tissue, the compensated treatment increased the BED about 124. Remember the previous value is 116. If the normal tissue does is considered to be high, it is possible to split the difference that is aimed to achieve the tumor BED, which is little less than prescribed while accepting a small increase in normal tissue. So uh, different fractionation has to be calculated and uh, Compensation would be made like uh, tissue, tumor tissue, normal tissue is going to be 3.5 lower. Uh, tumor will be 3.5 lower and uh, the normal tissue will be 3.1 higher. So this is a trade off. Uh, it is stressed that process of hyperfractionating treatment after the gap is not necessarily the best option. A better result is likely to be obtained if some extra fraction can be used in order to further reduce the fraction size. So another example, uh, six and seven weeks were missed. Now the two weeks are missed. So initially attempt to complete the treatment in five fraction delivered during the eighth week. That is the treatment time is extended by seven days to 53 days. First aim to match the prescribed late normal tissue. The dose perfection to use D where D is to solve. Uh, so um, this is the calculation for which the, the dose will be 3.22 graves quite high. The same dose perfection would produce a resultant tumor BED, 58.8, which is quite less. Thus, despite using a relatively large dose perfection for the last five fraction, the resultant tumor BED is 13.2 less than the prescribed. If the weekend prior to eighth treatment week is used for the treatment, then seven fraction may be delivered, leading to fractionated dose to be 2.57, and the tumor BED will be 60, which is 11.4% lower. So if 11 fraction are distributed over the seven available treatment days by treating bi daily on the four of them, the required fractional initial dose drop to 1.87, the tumor BED then being 61.9. So one has to find out the better solution for the patient and it will vary patient to patient and conditions uh, need to be looked uh, clinically. Judgment is required. This later value is still 8.7 short of the prescribed tumor. Thus, the some degree of compromise achieved by increasing those dose per fraction as listed in the previous example might be considered. So the conclusion of wealth of radiological and clinical evidence confirm the seriousness of unnecessary treatment prolongation and unscheduled care, particularly those near the end of the treatment are especially problematic. Although it is impossible to pre-attempt some interruption, example, those resulting from machine breakdown or bad clinical response treatment, those resulting from public holiday and saturated days can be pre-planned. It is not sufficient to devise the last minute compensation for such interruption and departmental policies should be prohibited in such practice. The radiobiological method of compensation when they have to be utilized are better than none at all, but it's nevertheless essential 
be aware of the potential downside of invoking calculation, which are themselves to oversimplification and which rely on the parameter value which sometimes are not accurately known. Three particular aspects of the calculation method set out above should be borne in mind. There is a strong evidence of accelerated repopulation following an initial period of slower repopulation. It is not clear whether or not the K factor varies during the treatment. The sublethal damage repair mechanism are not fully understood, and there is a strong likelihood that repair is slow in some of the normal tissue. It should be remembered that PED calculations take no account of physiological factor, which may influence the radiation response throughout an irradiated volume. These are the reference of uh, the presentation. Thank you for listening, subscribing to MPT channel, share this video presentation,